yesterday i was sitting with one of our new clients and they mentioned that lot of their time goes in asking for payments from their customers if you are an entrepreneur who frequently spend time reviewing the list of debtors and sending them reminders to collect payments for the overdue bills then this video is for you when it comes to account receivable management this is a common challenge which most of the businesses faces and in my experience i have seen these five common mistakes that most of the entrepreneurs make when it comes to managing their account receivables by avoiding these mistakes you will be able to save lot of time in managing uh, receivables and be able to effectively translate it into your business hi i am ca piyush bansal i help entrepreneurs optimize their business and life let's jump in to the common mistakes that most of the people make so the five common mistakes are not having the credit and collection policy second creating and sending invoice physically third not maintaining or updating the customer database and not giving enough option to the customers to make payment and lastly not having smart reminder systems for the collections let's go to the each mistakes very specifically and i will also share you tips to optimize these account receivable systems in the go so the first thing is not having credit and collection policy so this is a mistake that i've seen in lot of business owners where they don't have a clear segregation of the different categories of uh, customers usually business owners have a very unstat unsystematic way of uh, segregating customers for the credit period and collection period say for example uh, for one it could be 10 days and other it could be 15 days but it needs to be standardized because once you have a right system in place you are able to translate that system in the right manner so for that to happen you need to do three things first is clearly categorize all your customers into different buckets now these could be either based of the uh, corporate retail or walk in customers or it could be based of their collection goodwill say for example a category of uh, people who are very good in making payments b could be someone else and c could be accordingly and for these three categories of payments uh, of customers you design a specific credit period and collection period for each of them this way you'll be able to systemize it and structure it accordingly and it will make a, a, a receivable a systems very smooth and efficient in that matter having said that the second thing is creating and sending invoices physically still uh, people are sending or share or creating invoices physically and they are able to not uh, uh, manage the receivables in an effective manner because when you're sending the invoices electronically on the mail it goes and stores in their mailbox so that they need not organize and manage their uh, bills accordingly secondly what you can do is you can also share the payment link along with the mail so whenever it get dues the customer can automatically go on the payment link and select the mode of payment it could be through net banking card upi or whatever the options there are to pay for and also one good tip that comes along with this you can include a coupon code in it also so usually in the trade we offer cash discount where the payments are made immediately so for that to happen you can offer a smart code to them which would be valid for a very specific period and once they use that they'll be able to cash in the discount that they are looking for so this streamlines the receivable system very effectively and it also increases the uh, the side the synergy of collection and the relationship that you built with your customers third thing that you can do to optimize your account receivable system is by avoiding by not maintain by maintaining and updating customer database why because when you do so what happens is 
most of the people uh, where I have worked with, they did not have the right system, a database with their customers. So for, to find the email number or call mobile number, it takes a lot of time. For that to happen, you need to invest on a CRM system or at least have an Excel sheet of your customers wherein you record all their mobile number, contact details and other relevant information at one place. So this will become like a customer master spot for them. And once you do that, always keep updating this information on a time to time basis. Now this could be a six month cycle or a one year cycle, but keep it updated. And lastly, use this database once in a while. So you can send mails in regard of uh, celebrating or uh, sending them greetings of any festivals or sending them wishes for their birthdays, anniversary or could be anything or send some product uh, or service related information to them. So once you keep sending them information, that visibility is always there and this visibility help you uh, help them keep your bills or your company in mind all the time that so that when it comes to making payment they know okay these are the parties whom we need to make payments and accordingly that thing gets managed so it is really important by optimizing just this one thing, you'll be able to save a lot of time and also uh, game up your account receivable system. Then comes not giving enough option to customer to make payments. Now this is not just an option in terms of uh, like modes it's more in terms of like physical mode electronic mode or a banking mode if i'm sure most of you are familiar with the physical and the banking modes but i want to emphasize on the electronic mode over here so you we need to emphasize on technology here uh, UPI being one of the great form of making payments and people are very quick and effective in making UPI payments. So include such kind of uh, payment systems in your business so that account receivable and collection cycles can be reduced. And you can also have these options like UPI, card, barcode, include barcode in your invoices or in the mails or anywhere so that they can quickly scan and make the payments or financing options where then where they can pay later on a specific inter interval whether in with interest or without interest however you gave it so having these options really smooth the whole account receivable system and it also fosters reduces the cycle of collections in your business and lastly not having smart reminder systems for collection we all are sending reminders to the customers we all do but it is really important to create a smart system around it and for that to happen you need to focus on these three areas reminders before the due dates reminders on the due date and reminders after the due dates you need to think on all these three areas and you have to develop a reminder system which works accordingly and while connecting it with the first point when you have a clear segregation of people whom you want to uh, offer your reminders or collection systems you'll be able to define very specific and refined reminder systems in along with that so it is really important that you have a categorization of customers and a smart reminder system so that you create a smooth, effective, receivable system in your business. So um, just to conclude it, it is really important that you avoid these five mistakes which are there on the screen and you, uh, you optimize these areas one at a time. Having said that, if you like such kind of videos, and would you, if you like one of these kind of these videos coming directly to your mailbox every week, then you can subscribe to our newsletter and be part of our community where I, I specifically create content on how to optimize your business and life of growth. Uh, and if you have any comments or any questions around it, feel free to put it in the comment box. This is Piyush Bansal signing off. Keep optimizing your business and life for growth.